So therefore, when we look at the sign, when we look at the star, mm. why don't we call it, this is a sign of a cow? But why don't we relate it to the creator itself? Because you already know this information that the maker of the heavens and the earth is God. Therefore, we connect the sun and the moon to the creator. Right. But we don't do so. But we don't say, oh, these are the sign of a cow and goat. Why don't you say that? Because this information has not been instilled with you so that you can connect. So, for example, when you look at your tools, Go on. when you look at your tools, Go on. and if you have five tools and one of the tools look like the other five tools, yes. when you don't find one tool is missing from that five, right. you'd automatically connect that this is part of that. So you have five tools like the fingers. Yes, five fingers. Correct. One of them missing. Right. And then one of them you find other place. Yeah? All right. So when you see other place and when you have a four finger here, yeah, what do you connect? Are it's you part saying, of them. Are you saying are they still connected? No, no, no. I'm saying these are the original part of it. Oh, so you still say it's associated with the Yeah, well, maybe it's disconnected, yeah. but it was originally because it was missing and so there is no other maybe, things maybe present a here. a simpler analogy would be, yeah. Yeah, regardless of what culture, what religion, mm. when we experience near death, like in a car crash or something, you know where I'm going. Ataram. <laughs> Right. We call out for God. Uh -huh. So because reason the brother, because it's instilled. If it wasn't instilled, we wouldn't do it. That's what the brother is saying. Now, these is wise words and thank you for the no, that's okay. great uh, collective. Um, you see, you are right. And yet again, why I stated if every man was born uh, a Muslim. These are just words that we use as collectives for our own understanding today. But I don't think the Creator came down and said, right, what I'm going to do is say that I am this, I am that. The Creator will just create and like you both have stated, give the DNA to the people so you know that I am so you know that I exist. So when I send an individual to speak, they will resonate within them and the spirit what is in them Very is truly not said. from good, here. Good. The spirit Before is you go any further, because okay. I'm old, I, I, my memory. All right. You say, I want to just clear something up. You said something that's very interesting. Yes. Can I ask you, I don't want to assume something. All right. Do you believe the creator could come into the creation? Of course, we. It's the same. It's the same analogy. You see, you have this word which is Hebrew or Aramaic, and it's called ruach. Ru. When you have the ru, okay, this is the breath, okay. As you see, we blow. This is a representation of nature, which is air again. So when we are looking at the Creator, do you think there is something which is outside of the Creator that the Creator hasn't shown man that we have within ourselves? So there is a problem in this analogy, my brother. Okay, sure. So when we say Ruh, blue something. So yeah. one is Ruh of something and Ruh from something, right? So there is a distinguish between of and from. So off, when off and off from, off and off. from, from, yeah. right. For example, okay. now if you say God blew it, yeah. so therefore it's part of God. Then you'd say God created everything, so it's everything is God. A creation. Did you see? This, this is the a faulty understanding. Well, it's the same. It, it, you can separate them and say, yeah, but these are dynamics of God. No, so I tell you why. So, but, so the reason okay. why that that, that, that you go yeah, further. yeah. Forget the word God, this is the Creator. Thank you. The Creator, is it created or uncreated? No, it was just no, no. there. Is it created or uncreated? Uncreated. Right. From the word, is that created or uncreated? When you say from... The creation. Is the creation created or the spirit? Is this, Okay, simplify. Is the spirit created or uncreated? The spirit, I would say, is a creation. There we go. So, so very si simplified nice understanding. Uh, yeah, what's yeah. your name? Samuel. 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 Nice discussion. Samuel. Yeah. So, when God created everything, there must be a plan. There yes. must be a plan. 
So God would not create something without any purpose. Yes. And that purpose we cannot know through our own rational. understanding, our rational ah, faculty. This is where yes, this is where rational faculties are limited. Yes. But this rational faculty will connect when a messenger come to you and when there is a sign come to you so that you can actually see if if a sign come to you which is contradictory to you already built in whatever you have that mean it's not from god now how do we test it so therefore yes. important how point do we is test the theory exactly of god now we have to look into the spirit no not only the spirit i okay. tell you what, what else? Through, through a spirit i can tell you this man is a good man but it does not necessarily mean he is a messenger of god right so when we look at prophets and messenger there are two separate criteria main two criteria mm -hmm. one criteria is their characteristics why are we talking about the characteristics of a messenger i'll tell you why yeah i'll okay. tell you why i'm, okay. I'm going to connect the dot so we talk about the characteristics of the messenger all right and then supporting evidence of miracle like supernatural stuff okay now imagine 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 uh, imagine yes, yes if someone does miracle and a magician does some miracle as well mm -hmm. You would say they are both the same. Where is the distinguish between a, a the magician and a mir the miracle worker? And a spiritual individual. Now, the only way you can I, distinguish. Let, let me the answer the question before you go yeah. on. If you have a son, right? And um, let's say you are raising two children. You raise both of them, but one of them is from your loins. Do you think the son, which is actually from your loins, would know you more than the son who is an adopted son? You tell me this. I mean, yeah. Okay. Sorry, say you. I, I didn't hear the. You person. have a son who is from your, your own your, your loins. Yeah, yeah. Your 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 DNA, like you were talking about the computer, all right? And then you have a son who is not from your loins. Let's say adopted son. Adopted son. Yeah. Yeah. Do you reckon your real son, and they've both been away, for example, you know, and now they are coming to Papa. Do you think the real son or the adopted son would would more be associated with the father? Which one? The, the, the real one. Real one will be more associated with me because he may be look like me. He may resemble some of my features. So he would have more what attributes? He had, no, I would say more resemblance. Okay, okay. When we'll say... Re okay, now, what's your point here? To, what are you I'm trying to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The point that I'm breaking down because I'm saying the spirit and you're saying basically that it isn't more about the spirit. But what I'm saying is there is a first and there is a last. Okay? So, this creator did create, but then so did the creator's creation you see it I, I wait 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 wait, wait. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. please please clarify what so did the creator's creation no no please stop there you said creators yeah okay the creator yeah. the one and only yeah. the one and only um creation right stop there brother stop there meaning no no you're gonna if, if okay. I, as i said i'm, I'm not I need to get okay it. the creator is yeah. the creator Governed by time? No. Right. There is no time. There right. is no is the beginning, creation, no is the end. Is creation governed by time? Yes. Okay. Now we can. Now yeah. Can carry, carry on. Carry on. Okay. So, on the spiritual sense, you have a father or a mother, yeah. and they have known you. Okay. Some could read half a million books and say, "Yeah, but this is what." The father says, meaning the adopted one, yeah. could say, yeah, but my father says this. But the original gene yeah. could resonate closer with the father. Not it's, necessarily. Ah, really now? Not Here we go. No, I'm Here saying, we go. In the Caribbean, seven sisters, seven different minds. I was going to say the same mind. thing anyway. Seven sisters. Seven different minds. You have three sons. They're, all, they're not all the same. Sometime... Your adopted son could be closer to you than your birth son. Yes. They can be closer to you. Because it's not absolute. And and I think this example actually lead us to lead I, us I, to I, very to subjective understanding of analogy. Yeah, listen to me. Yeah, okay. yeah. So what we are saying is if the religion is from God yes. and if the creator is 
all powerful and all wise he would leave us an objective way of finding him rather than we go through our own spirit and doing our own philosophical version of god no right. so therefore we see god send human being as a messenger so i'm just going to do my yeah, yeah. so god send human being from among us mm. god send human being as a messenger right to remind people about that they are indeed from god and now we can test them yes. by looking at their character if you find a faulty character would you say god would send a a a fraud star to convey his message or would you think god would send someone who will be an example to mankind an example fine good. right so when we talk about moses when we talk about jesus when we talk about muhammad peace be upon the moon we find this exemplary character with them the whole community has we cannot them. say that unless they was there at one time or um there is evidence now there if, if no they are evidence. if they are if they are on they are in one time then the rest of the community would not get message ah. god divine guidance is exactly so how can we associate isa with muhammad right how? exactly how now we now we have to look into from the beginning to the end if we look at imagine a postman come to your door right he come on sunday yeah in a t-shirt is saying a particular company from star company mm. he come and he drop drop you the letter 15 days later there was another postman which is a different person star company delivered the same letter two months later another guy completely different new guy same t-shirt same logo star company delivering the letter right at least what you you find commonality what what is the commonality between all these three all of them are wearing the same shirt they the are sp- from the same company right right so when all the prophets and messenger came in mm-hmm. when we look at their character and their message mm-hmm. shows that they are from the same source no they are no there is no evidence that they was from the same source what evidence what, one could say oh um what the last person said for example oh i could say what moses said and then you repeat the same words and they would say oh you are a holy man because you said the same thing that the last <coughs> person said mm-hmm. or you are just a follower a copycat so how can we actually associate you as the real prophet if you are saying something that the last man has said already right okay it's very simple tell me this is a very simple thing okay in order to know you need to live with them right ah oh, you need no, to no, know no 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 i'm saying is yes. that is that your understanding yeah no 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 that's not my right. understanding now in that case we need to look at the testimony what yes. the, what okay what has been communicated to us so in islam we have something called quran which has been sent to prophet muhammad peace be upon him right so we need to look look anyone whenever anybody makes a claim we need to test the claim itself we need to look at the the claim itself right. does he ever known to be a liar in his community well then you need to know the people of the community absolutely so we have the record of it no so, no no okay. no no what? no 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 so now, are you are you are you, are you denying are all these is, historical evidence now what we are saying is that history is going to be told correctly history is told by the beholder meaning whoever wins the war will tell the story of what they choose to tell whether you choose to accept it and believe it is really up to you no no the question is if you say history mm. is not believable then you cannot believe anything in this world that is what i'm saying this is why it says now, empty your cup now, and start again now, now, because a lot how, of how how you are saying very simple how hang on hang on hang on a lot of the information of what they are saying even up to today is showing a lot of the world it has been hidden it has been miscredited so the word of revelation only do, do you know why do you know why can i finish and then yeah, you can sure. tell me why sure the word revelation only yet means to reveal which has been hidden that means there was a truth that was untold but everything must be revealed within its time this is called the truth and the truth 
will set you free, as you will. Do you know why you don't believe those testimony? Why do I not believe what one specifically? So historically, what do you believe in history? I do not believe this whole um, thing of what you are talking about, where you say, oh, it was revealed to Muhammad about, you know, Jibra'il and all of these things. So, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think how much sincerity you have. How we, much? How much sincerity you have. Because when you're talking about thousands of people's testimony, yeah. and then we have something in Islam called chain of narration, meaning we can trace back to the Prophet Muhammad and his teaching, and we have a tradition, a robust tradition of our revelation which has been preserved. So if you say, if you want to deny this without knowing what you're denying, then that would be a, a blind denying, I would say. You know what is called blind denying? Blind denying is something which I do not... Uh, imagine there's five people lied, therefore all of them are lied. That's a wrong analogy. History, there are a lot of people make wrong history. They twisted the history. That's not necessarily attributed to Islam. And that is where the shocking things come. Lot of non-Muslim. Lot of non-Muslim. Look at... Uh, Look at all. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell him Please. a few things. No, let me clarify because I can see something. What he means, I'm talking relationship. What he says by the chain of narration. You see, your your lineage. Right. Your lineage goes back to 1400 years ago. Right. What he's saying. You see, you now. You know your father's full name. Whether he was trustworthy. Your great. We have this going all the way back to the prophet. As evidence. No, what, what his problem is, I'll tell you why. I wanted to give you the same example. The problem is, he denying the history totally. He said history cannot be trusted because he wasn't there. Yeah. The problem is... the pro history is told by the beholder meeting. Right, yeah. right, yes. right. Yeah. So now yeah. I am bringing an example. Yes, I Evidence. agree with you partially. Yeah. In other religious tradition, it has happened. Yeah. It does not necessarily mean that it also applies to Islam. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. what I was waiting yeah, for. Yeah, it doesn't mean it that do it happens to Islam. It, that would be the only religion, right? It will happen to you, every you, other one, but not this one. I, this one is the most holiest brother, of the holy. No, 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 where his story is corrupted, I said you cannot equivalent the same line of understanding when you come to our yeah. line. In our tradition, Islamic tradition, our scholars have scrutinized the hadith. When we make a claim about something wrong, I need to find wrong before I say it wrong. Yeah. I cannot pre-assume that this is wrong and then I'm, I'm reading it, right? So the lens must be correct. Mm -hmm. So when we look at the Islamic tradition history, there are critics also write about things about Islam. Okay. There are people, Islamic scholars, non-Muslim scholars, right. linguistics, different fields. George Barnard Shaw, Mahatma yeah. Gandhi, you know, people like, they wrote about the biography of Prophet Muhammad Islam. And what was their note? What did they concluded about him? Belief is a different thing. But what did they say about this man? So in order to, imagine, I want to reject you. If I don't know you, and if I reject you, that should be unfair. Yeah. When I so? What yeah. Yeah. If basically so, he, I've come and I'm saying what I'm saying, and he's rejecting the idea of what I'm saying, yeah. what he doesn't even know me. Exactly. It would seem strange. Stop, exactly. Stop there, stop uh, let, uh, what should What should he do then to verify? Yeah, exactly. What should he do to verify what you're saying? He would have to go to the people that know you. you? Oh, to say, is if this guy true to, to his word? There we go. So we are coming to that. So, now, what you're so, so now, yes. So when we look at the biography of the Prophet. All right. Now imagine I wanted to say, oh, I want to reject Hassan totally. Mm. But I don't even know him. Mm. You're being if, but if, I, if I analyze him and if I find he never lied entire, entire of his life, he never lied. Mm. Not a single lie. Can I tell him a liar? Okay, now this is what I am saying to you. You are a Bengali man. You are not even an Arab. Yeah. You come from India, what you used to be, right? Yeah. Now, 
then you have to study a language which is outside of your own. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. Uh, that's not a problem. Yeah. No, I mean, for worldly gain, people get many degrees just to get two, day, uh, two years of three, uh, three years of bread. And you are saying for your eternal life, are you not going to sacrifice your time? But let's go further. You see, like, you come from a different tribe from yes. me. Yes. And I have a different tribe. Yes. The way for me to get to know you, I have to learn something about your language. Yeah. Then we can communicate. Yeah. Then we can. So it's well, there will have to be a reason to want to understand this. No, but I, th I think his question is, his question no, is. No, what his no, question is. I, I understand. You're Mongolian. How can you prove what exactly? Oh, so all that's what, right. That's what yeah, you're yeah. You are not even no, an Arab. Now, no, no, the, the no, question no, is, the question no, is, this is a decision not you can choose and I can choose. This is a decision done by God Himself. Whoa, whoa. I'll tell whoa, you, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you. He said, lean it not upon your own understanding. I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. 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 Very good question. Mm -hmm. So when God sent a, a messenger, which language he should send on? Is there any universal language? There is not a universal therefore, language. He, Therefore, he must come to a community where we have a language, uncorrupted language. Do you understand the uncorrupted and corrupted so language? So are you going to say Arabic was the uncorrupted yes, it language? Is. Yes. So the language of the Arabs, what's wrong with Aramaic? Do, okay. Uh, what's wrong with Hebrew? Okay. What's wrong with Latin? Did the prophets and messengers came to this tradition? Yes, indeed. So Arabic is not the only language God chosen. So there are languages chosen. Hear me out. Go on, go Every on. time God sent messenger, yeah. he sent the messenger, the, the, the revelation in his own language, in his own mother tongue, of the messenger's mother tongue. So when Prophet Muhammad came in, he didn't bring a foreign language to his own people. Rather, he communicated in Arabic. Do you know why he's not? It's not corrupted. You tell me why right. he chose so when, Arabic. Okay. So when we have the Arab, the, uh, the uh, which is... The Arab Peninsula. The Arab Peninsula. Okay. In the time of Prophet, mm -hmm. they are Bedouin. They are desert people. They live in the desert. If you, They live in the desert? Desert, yes. They lived in desert, yeah. Okay, go on. So <laughs> you have one side Roman and one have Persian Empire. Oh, wow. So, so you have yeah, him, yeah. one who is one Roman. Side, one side is Romans and another and is Persian. Is Persian. Persian. What okay. language is the Persian language? They are speaking their own language. Okay. Oh, but they've got their own language. Uh, yes. Okay. Now, imagine if you live in a desert. Yeah. If you live in a desert and you have no money, you have nothing to offer. Yeah. You just mere a goat herder. Would you bother to spend your army to destroy them when you get nothing? Would would you Baba send your army, army to English? conquer them and then you introduce your language to them? Would you do that? What, the goat herders? No, 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 the, the Roman. Do you think they they would do that? Um, I don't understand. Okay, fine. So, when we're talking about Arabia, yeah. so they have the correct language. You know, they have, uh, their language is intact, meaning it's not engaged with the foreign language. So oh, we have Rome. Yeah. This is what you're saying. Exactly. So therefore, God chose that language, uncorrupted language, because the Roma didn't bother to conquer them because they are goat herders. What did and they what get? What language is that? Are you saying it's Arabic? Arabic, yes. Or is it ancient Syriac? No, no, no. It's Arabic. I rest my case. Okay. From there. Two, two billion people, two billion people, okay. Muslim, okay. know that the tongue of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam mm. is Arabic. And indeed, Quran affirms many, many verses. In the tongue, the Arabic language. So the Arabic language itself, the language that God sent message, the last and final message. Now, if you deny, you'd be denying the whole humanity and the whole history of totality at all. Now, it's your, you wanted to believe what you want to believe, I don't have See, any sense. this is the Muslim approach is what I find. And it's a form of submissive approach. It has Tell to me be where, this where, way this, you know, or no way. No, no, no I said no, there is a universality. The, the, universal the, the, the truth. Arabic way, then... No, well, no, 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 let, say, no, let, let, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish now. So this is the language of the revelation. But if you look at the Muslim around the world, right. there are more Muslim 
a non-Arab, non-Arab, non -Arab, yeah. then the Arab itself. Yeah. Why is that? Because of the profound message of oneness of God. Really? Yes. Yeah. Or was it not based upon war? No. Where's your evidence? Okay. Yeah. Ah, okay, give us yes. your evidence. You see, according <coughs> to basically, first, we can go into when, you know, it is written in many, many books. No, hang on. Slowly, what slowly. books? Look, the books. Who wrote the books? No, no, no. I, th I think let's no. bring a case. What have you done and which, which, which things makes, doesn't make sense and you feel like Islam is a, is a warmongering religion? All right. Bilal. Hmm? Bilal. Bilal. The Abyssinian. Yes. Yeah. What's, yeah. Yeah, what's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? Uh, basically, was he not a slave? Before yes, he was. Islam, yeah. Yes. So he was a slave, yes, yeah? Before Islam. Yes. So now you're okay. going to say, before Islam, he was a slave. Imagine. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. I, I, I understand you. I understand. Are you, you. saying before okay. Islam, uh, okay. he was a slave? Okay. The Lalwi. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 okay. Who, okay. who, 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 who taken out of enslavement? Is it Muslim, the the pagan, or his friends? I give you three questions. So you give him three. Yeah. Good, good. Okay. Who was Bilal Sona? He was basically was a he Muslim? man from a... No, he was not. Do you know what was his name? Who? Bilal. Bilal's yeah. owner. Do you know who was Bilal's owner name? Uh, I believe it was one of Muhammad's uncles or something as yeah. such. His name is Umayyah ibn Khalaf. Yeah. Okay. Umayyah ibn Khalaf used to torture him. Okay. Severely torture him. Okay. He so much so, when he was to scream, People used to hear. All right, they used yeah. to put stone, stone on his on, on his chest. I know. And, and you know, you know what he? Why did they put the stone on him? He, they wanted him. No, brother. But before you go there, why do you think they put the stone on him? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was, was going to say anyway. Uh, I personally <laughs> believe so they I'll... put the stone on him because they could not conquer him and his people. So they wanted what to conquer? know. What conquer? What conquer? Conquer means take over. No, 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 no. You, you, you asked me a question. That's so, why. That's why so we need to. Since you asked me the question, yeah. allow me to finish. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, no, 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 but no, no, you yeah. misheard. But I'll tell you that. Okay. Yeah. So him, uh, Balal the Abyssinian, was Ethiopian Habash. Yes. Now Habash, these yeah. people who was over there was already of Yahud. There's no Yahud in Mecca. Oh, I tell you history. I tell you really? history. There is no Yahud in Mecca. Before the rise of Islam, there was Yahud. Yahud in Medina, my friend. Medina. You need to Medina. read, my my friend, my friend, no, my friend, no, 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 my friend. No, okay, I'll tell you. No, I'll tell brother, you. I'll tell you. No, okay, brother, I, I, I think. No, 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 I, no, 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 no. This is not I know where it's going, brother. Brother, this is not true. brother, brother. We are when we are this educating you about. No, 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 okay. This is not hey, true. Can you prove me? Can you prove me? If you say, no, are you saying I'm lying to you? This is what I'm saying. I'm on camera. I'm saying you are incorrect. Can I ask you, in sure. all sincerity, where did you get the information? Exactly. That, that, yeah. um, Bolal was the Abyssinian, no, yeah. and basically yeah. he where, went... Yeah, what book, or what is the person, scholar, yeah. that wrote the book? Yeah. That said... Yeah, that, what you're saying about Bilal. You see, what the problem is with me, I come across... That's it. Okay, yeah. look, because what I, what I realised... Yes, among, exactly, among, yeah. Among my, our people... Yes. We never recorded anything, Africans as such. So what we do, we go to external source, which are the Orientalists, the Europeans, who write down the history, Shabai. and their record is not trustworthy. Brother, we documented everything in Sanskrit, yeah. okay? All the information now that has been written in papyrus has been broken down off of... By who? Hassan, Hassan, I think we are going off, off okay. the topic. My brother, with due sincerity, and I honestly believe you are a sincere person, and I sincerely believe you've been misinformed. Right? Yeah. Okay. I want to give you benefit of the doubt. Okay. Because it's a clear lack of historic understanding. Sorry, sorry. Because if you tell Jews are living in Mecca, everyone would laugh. Do you know why? Because it's a historically absurd because Jews are, Jews are living in Medina. Medina. Do you know, when we know their tribe. Medina, we, yeah? Yes, yeah. we know their where tribe. Where is Mecca and where is Medina? Medina is around two to three hundred miles, uh, sorry. From Mecca. From are Mecca. they close? No, two, it just said two hundred. Two to three hundred miles away from Mecca, okay? Okay, go on. Not only we knew who lived there, mm. we knew which, know the tribe name. 
We knew what they used to do and we knew how they used to plot things against Prophet, disturb the Prophet, yeah. to break the alliance with the Prophet, right? So we know everything. This has been recorded in, in our tariq, which is history, in the seerah of the biography of the Prophet. It has been recorded. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We say Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so, due to the honor of the Prophet. So whenever we mention, mention an, any Prophet, we say peace be upon them all. Why? Because this is the mercy of God that Allah sent the, them as a guide. And in and fact, Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad, Allah mentioned, بِإِذْنِهِ He was the beacon of the light. I'm Look. not being funny, but these just sound like words to me. No, fine. Every time my, my, like, my, my, my you brother, guys my, my, like say something. My brother, um, my brother, my brother, I, yeah. I, I'll tell you something. I'll okay. tell you. I, what I, I sincerely, yes? Mm. It's not for winning the debate here. It's about a two human brother communicating, right? And yes. I, I, I sincerely, I am sincerely saying you need to research the topic better because you've been misinformed. That's, that's my conclusion. But you have been informed. I, I have read the story. I have I, because you no, read. I have read. Let me ask, let's go back to yes. where we was in the beginning. No, no, no. I, well, it's one because I, 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 the reason why it's very important, I need to find out where you obtain this history from. Because yeah. I do not know what other biases you may be holding. So now I need to challenge the, the information no, you that you are getting from. No, because it I'm is, not it challenging is. you. No, no, I tell what you. What I find is people like to talk. I don't come here to just talk and, and argue. This is not what it will be. Okay. And none of this will no, save that's anyone's why I'm, soul. No, so when I am he saying says challenge, what he's talking about in Islam, we must do things on an evidential basis. Evidential? Yes. Be based. So what he's asking you, if I say to you something, I must have got this but information. This sounds like doubting Thomas. No, it's not a matter of doubting. Yes, you it have is. A, you have a right, even us, when I say Islam, if we say something about Islam, you have a right to question about it. We don't have no objection. You now, to, let's you, go you back to Esau. Doubt in no, you're no, you're changing the subject. No, no, no. No, I'm no, not. no. Do you know what, Hassan? I'll tell you, okay I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, my brother, my brother, yeah, yeah, my on. brother, I think, I think it is fair, it's fair that we should conclude here. I'll tell you why. Because when you're holding your such a strong belief based on the misinformed information, and I'm holding my, uh, uh, let me finish, I'm holding my belief on an objective information and with, with the two billion Muslims aligned with this, and I have scripture to support with that, I have biography to support with that, I have the history to support with that, and I have numerous books which has been written about the prophets and about Islam, which I cannot say willy-nilly, oh, I wanted to reject, now I'm going to reject everything. I cannot do that mm. because I cannot lie about history. Mm. I cannot lie about the miracle. I cannot lie about prophet, right? Mm. Now, if you have been in a position that you've been misinformed, I, I, I feel sorry that you are misinformed. Let me but oh, I, I, I feel sorry that you are misinformed. But yeah. when you realize you are misinformed, your approach should be sincere and say, give me some resources where I can study. That would be your approach. Yeah. Not, I, not I to be no. To want to study. You know, if you, if you, are, if you argue now mm. with us mm. that you are doing <coughs> argument from ignorance, that would become. Do you know why? Because we clearly demonstrated, my brother, mm. you have misinformed. But where is your proof, though? Uh, that like, is good. That, that, is, that good. is good. Then, this is no. no yes. Okay. It's going to give it to you. That's a okay. very good question. Very good question. Yeah, but all you would do is run to an Arabic source. No, you didn't listen to what he says. I Bernard, see. Bernard Shaw. Who is he? Is God, who is that Bernard Shaw? Who is he? From the 18th? No. These are people. Okay. Have you have you read the book called The Hundred? The Hundred? Yes. Yeah. No. Do you know who wrote that book? No. This is one of the famous books in this current century. Century. This guy called... And should I know this? You should know this. Why should I know this? Because it was an unbiased source. So according to who? According to as someone who is Christian, not a Muslim. Yes. Okay. So because a Christian, you are telling me that a Christian has said something of an unbiased source. Why are you telling me this? Because you are not accepting our source. That's why I'm saying. So I yeah. must accept your source. No, it's not. No, you're not. not. I'm saying. Source. I'm it's saying. Any source you go, mm -hmm. you have to look into what critic has to say and what is the claim of Islam. Yeah. Now, now, let's go back 
to the beginning that, that with, is a, with the, the software understanding what the source is or the information which was already downloaded into which is fitra which is the innate disposition of every human soul right. that okay. right okay right. hold up because i'm gonna i'm gonna hit the narrative on this okay you go ahead with this you ready yes but you are changing the subject. But I'll tell you. This will, but this look, will finish everything. Look, um, I mean, to be honest, with because you, no, 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 it, it doesn't finish anything. Look, look. It does. I, I tell you what. It does. I, I, I want this some humility from you. I, I just want some humility from you, brother. Brother, I have demonstrated to you within the brothers I'm in front. saying you do not need a book for this because in the book, in the beginning, there was the spiritual. Okay. Now I'm just gonna leave it like no, this. That, I'm just gonna leave it like this, me. which is just the spirit. Okay. Yeah. Before any written understanding, yeah. for a man to grasp understanding of this creator, yeah. did he just begin to write out of nowhere? Or was he spiritually inspired? Who was in spiritually inspired? Who are you talking about? Whoever was the first one to begin to start jotting down the information of the creator, how did they get the information? Right. Before it was the written down. The information that you've got. Did the person that wrote down the information claim that he was inspired? The person that wrote it down... Hassan, Hassan, there's okay. a fundamental premise here. He rejects the history totality at all. So even if we give him the first man, the second man and the third man, and we have multiple messengers, I have given him example of companies that they, when they bring the same information and they never seen one another, what does it tell you? It simply tell you this is from the same source and that shows all of the prophets and messengers coming from yeah, the same, same god source. so if you go even rational angle you should have then show me where i said to him proof remember okay. what 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 How what what, you know okay, what proof? muhammad was from the same source as isa okay. the, the only you way know yeah. in your muhammad standard okay, was from the same source in, of musa in, how do we yeah. know this for your because standard i know that musa moses and isa come from yahudi they are not from muslim but you will tell me okay. oh isa okay. and musa was was muslim okay. when i say they was yahudi okay. so you completely misunderstood what muslim mean yeah submissiveness this is what you are saying okay. submissive submissiveness to, the will. to who yes it's, it's, no no it's just a good yes. question submissive to the will of the one and only right. true and living creator right yes. now that was there in the beginning and shall be there in the end okay yeah. fine all right i need a quran and i wanted to show him something so and let, let's see i'm gonna test your honesty you to i'm to gonna test your honesty big time now you are running to a book i am i would allow no. the spirit to control me how do you know your you spirit would, is telling that come on truth? how do you know your tele spirit is you telling the truth how do you know how do you know all will see why, what, where, no, no, how no, do you know no, the shaitan no, is talking no, to you? No, no, we're having a good Come. discussion. Come. Let's yeah, go. Continue. Oh, okay. Because what he's saying, when you say the spirit, no, you're no, talking no. from a subje subjective. Because... Hang on, brother. Uh, yeah, yeah. When it's subjective, I cannot test your belief. I cannot test that. But when something is objective, it's external, me and you can analyze it to come to the truth. That's what we're talking about. Okay. I can believe, look, I can believe I'm a monkey. Right. Is that true? <laughs> your face, right, your face. Right. I so he know, he knows I it. Yeah. Okay, my okay. brother. Okay, okay, let's go. Chapter three, verse sixty-five. Okay. Mm -hmm. O people of the Scripture, why do you argue about Abraham while Torah and the Gospel were not rebuilt until after he? Talking about Abraham. Okay. Read it again. O people of the Scripture, who so, are the people of the Scripture? Right. The people of the scripture, it's those who, I would say, it was written before a certain era. Okay, so it was written before a certain time, and the time of what we are talking okay. about, it sounds like the Torah. Old people fine. from the scripture. Very good. So the Quran being the last one. Fine, fine, now don't conclude it. Okay. Don't run it. I want you to take a All slow, right, baby on. step. Baby step number one. Step step. Baby step. Yeah. So Torah and Gospel was not before Abraham, correct? The Torah and Gospel was before. Torah was before Abraham? Torah. My goodness. No, 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 no. Is Moses Abraham Abra Abraham is Abraham before Moses or after Moses? Oh, the 
because we got this sun. Your bloodline comes from this book? From the Arab or the you, Quran? My brother, my, my brother, my brother, my brother. I'm talking about DNA. Yeah. You have written this. No, no, no. Look, carry it, carry it, my brother, my brother. We have people like this who come and disturb us. No, no, no. No, 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 don't think about this. No, no brother, brother. Talk Subhanallah al Azim. Deal with this conversation. Don't worry about him. We don't know him. No, no, no. You see, brother, we, we don't know him. Everything is a reflection of something like when we were talking about the ants and everything. For the man to say what he said, he said it for a specific reason. There is nothing that this creator does without purpose, yes. without cause. Yeah. So then it has me question, why did that happen? And that was what I wanted to know. But he's gone. But he's, I need to reflect on the words of what he said, which was, this is my... Right. Shall we go back to the conversation? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Let's I think. Go. Okay. Why do you argue about Abraham while Torah and Gospel were not revealed until after him? So Abraham... So the Gospel was revealed after, after, Abraham, after Abraham. Abraham. After Abraham. After Abraham. Abraham came okay. before Moses. So Abraham okay. came before Jesus and Moses. Okay. Do we disagree on that? Because we are taking baby step at a time. Yeah, good, good. Torah, the written word. Be cautious with how you state this. No, what it is? I'm just saying, just simply, Abraham, Abraham came before, before Moses, Moses and oh, Jesus. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Who came first? Was it I Abraham? Was it came Abraham before? who came first? He came before Moses and Jesus. Father Abraham, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes. okay. Yeah, Go yeah, on. okay, the brother. And Allah saying, will you, then will you not reason? Here you are, those who argue about which you have some knowledge. And why do you argue about which you have no knowledge? And Allah knows while you know not. I'm going to read together. Abraham was neither a Jew. Go on. The verses start with Ma kana Ibrahim. Uh -huh. Ma un negation. Abraham was neither a Jew. Right. What is the following word say? Nor a Christian. Christian. Right. So if Abraham is not a Jew, yeah. nor a Christian, yeah. what then he, he must be something else. Now let's find out. Mm, okay. He was one inclining toward a truth, inclining toward truth, a Muslim submitting to Allah, and he is not of the polytheist. So the definition of Muslim is someone who submit to God. Now if you wanted to know who is Abraham? If Abraham is a Muslim, then all of the religion are created by human beings and not from God. And Islam is from God. That's the simple. Right. I think I concluded there, my brother. To reflect on you I, can. I think. I can see you asked about um, Abraham. That would mean that I would need to believe in the Abraham. So if you believe in Abraham, I never said I believe in Abraham. No, I said if you did you hear me out? I said if you if you believe in Abraham, Abraham religion was Muslim. So therefore, I do not believe in Abraham. I mean then I mean I mean you can you can entitle for your belief. What you can entitle for your own belief. Yeah. No one in Islam. Can Allah you tell give us, me proof of uh, of Abraham? Yes, only proof you need is I send you by time travel back to Abraham. Which is no, not possible. Maybe there has to be a book. No, but, but you said you reject history. So uh, what what do there you want? There must be a book, though. No, I mean, look. If you if you any evidence, Hassan, Hassan, if if you ask for me, yeah. Oh, I cannot fly. Can I make you fly? So you are asking something non-reasonable. Yeah. So we cannot go back to in back in time to live with Abraham. Because now you have to believe in the testimony or history, whatever in there. Ah, right. thank you. Now, now so what Christian. you're saying is I just need to be a believer based no, on No, 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 that's faith. why, that's why I said, in order to believe in the messenger, you didn't listen to my previous conversation. That's why I wanted to target on the root cause of it. I said, if you look at the prophets and messenger, look at their claim, look at their character, mm -hmm. look at their miracle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If their what claim... What miracle did Muhammad do? Okay, fine. In the day before Khaybar, 
would you like to hear? I'm listening. But you have to listen. No, I just have to listen. I so don't have to do anything. Okay, I fine. just have to listen. Okay. In the battle of Khyber, the day, day, the day before the Khyber, in the battle, there was a battle taking place the following day. Prophet said, I will give the flag to the one who would love by Allah and his messenger. So everyone think, okay, they are waiting. Who is going to give flag to the next day? Right? So the next day, everyone gathered. And Prophet said, there is one missing. And Prophet said, where is Ali? One companion of the Prophet. Where is Ali? And they said, he has an eye issue. Okay. So he has an eye ailment. So he asked them to go and get Ali in front of me. So when they bring Ali to in front of him, he was in front of everyone. He spat on his eyes. It was healed straight away then and there in front of the companion. This sounds a lot like Esau. So this sounds like the same story that no, you no, heard. No, no, no. I'm, I'm Esau giving done. I'm giving you two layer of evidence. I'm giving you two layer of evidence. Now you have one which is recorded. Right? Now we have another miracle which is living with us today. Do you know what is this? Tell me. Quran itself. That's a miracle. It is a miracle. Do you know why it's a miracle? Because Allah saying that if you think this is a human book, then the human would be able to produce it. There are challenges in the Quran yep. that, that imitate a chapter like it, imitate 10 chapters like it, or imitate a full book like it. And it is reduced to one chapter imitate. Three lines. Three lines. Yeah. Why they are unable to produce it? Why? Okay. Now, so, if one man can produce it, and if you say, oh, I don't believe it's from God, then all of the world's people can gather together and produce something. Why? 14th century still. So we're saying God produced the book. Of course. But God produced the book for, as the last one though, right? Yes. Yeah. And he said he so would preserve God it. So God now... Yeah. Are we looking at God in a human form? Because now, no, 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 no. Why, 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 why you have this? No, no, no. Books. No, no. God sending the books. So sending God the, sent the book. Okay. God. Look, Revelation. God sent everything to this world. Okay. God sent rain as well. Yes. God sent all the blessing that we receive. Yes. Right. So God sent messenger. God sent books. Right. Guide. If you don't have a guide. How do you run your life? All right. right. Here we we are. Yes. We are following. Yes. <coughs> Sorry. So, when God sent guidance, human messenger, so they come with the books, right? Hello. All of the pro previous prophets also received the books. Not all of them came with books. This is what I'm saying. Okay. And Isa did not come with a book. Did, did, did. Can, can he? Would you like to take on that conversation? Come. Did you hear what he just said? Yeah, he said Isa comes with the book. Okay. Okay. Right. And 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 Islam mentioned that all of the. Would you agree? With yes, I agree with him. He came with a book. Yes. Abraham received a book as well. Okay. Moses received Torah. Okay. Right. So right. when you're talking about Torah, we're not talking about Old Testament. We're talking about the original revelation given to Moses, not what people have been wrote later on. Okay. Right? So we're talking about the original revelation. Mm. And Allah mentioned in the Quran that <coughs> He given the final book to Prophet Muhammad. Peace According be to right. what you choose to believe. Right. right. Okay. And we have, I have given you, and the challenges is there. Now, if someone would say, I need to challenge the book itself, then you can look at the linguistic challenge of the Quran. Since you are not an Arab, right. you would whoa, not. Whoa, 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 but go on anyway. No, I mean, since you're, I mean, I meant it's not Arabic. Yeah, language. not Arabic. Oh, yeah, okay. that's it. That's what I meant. Oh, okay. So all you can do, look at the scholars, of linguistic scholars, right. what they have to say on it. Right. Muslim and non-Muslim alike. Yeah. And what they say about this challenge and what they conclude it. And that's, that will be your answer. Right. We close down today. Look after yourself. That was a good conversation. And I, I hope you know you reflect upon those stuff we have said and I hope I hope you know I hope you can reflect upon No and and, and, and honestly honestly I believe that you've been misinformed so that's why I had to give you some reference I to, would say, to can a man find the creator without a book without, but, but without a the guide? level of 
the level of proof I've given you is... Can a man find God without a book? Without revelation? The, without a book? Will God reveal of course, himself? Of course, why not? Do you know why? How? Do you know why? All right. Do you know the sign? Everything is a sign of God. Ayat. Ah. Right. This ayat will connect you. And whenever you realize that everything I am receiving, you will have an inner guilt. Should I not worship? Then you would look for a messenger automatically. Look now, after yourself. This Makes is sense. Good. You, you are good. You are look good. after you yourself, are. my brother. Look after yourself. You I wish you all the best. And I will give you a copy of the Quran. No, thank you. you yeah? Alright, look after yourself, yeah? yeah. You know. Summarize, no, 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 summarize. Subhanallah, Jazakallah Khair Hassan, uh, thank you for your input as well. Uh, may Allah guide him to Islam. Uh, I think there are a lot of changes to our conflicting topics and it's going around the tangent. But uh, Alhamdulillah, I think finally he, 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 he kind of grasped the understanding. May Allah, may Allah guide him to Islam. Yeah, I think we just need to be patient with him. Yeah. Hopefully he'll come back. Yeah. Because we have to break down a lot of his misconceptions. SubhanAllah, it is. Misconception. And then I think he has a lot of misinformed information about Islam. And and, and I, I guess uh, the critics of Islam does a beautiful job to misguide people, you know. So we have to be careful about which are the source we are getting the information from. May Allah guide him to Islam. Jazakallah khair.